Welcome, welcome, my viewers and my listeners to the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor, all the way from Minnesota, USA. I love the Lord as my personal Lord and Savior in a very passionate and radical way. I also love you with the love of God because I see in you the glory of the Lord in you know, because He gave His best for you when you are lost. He gave the best for me when I was lost. He gave the best for us when we were lost. So I am just preparing your heart so that you can connect with your God. Monday through Wednesday, I do that by bringing you inspirational word. Thursday, celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence because what we put in this body is very important, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Fridays, I bring you putting on the right gear for the weekend because your life and my life, our lives are just like the cars that we drive and we need to put them in the right gear and taking care of it just the way we take care of any equipment that takes us from point one to point B, be it an airplane, be it the train, be it a bicycle, be it a motorbike, be it a tuk-tuk, whatever. And Saturday, Sunday, I take a break or I can bring you random inspirational message like I brought you on Saturday because it was the 1st of April. And I want to believe wherever you are, if only you are lady, I know God will bless you. The title of my message today will be, your personal sincere prayer can transform your life. You see my wrong wedding. Your personal and sincere prayer can transform your life. I'll be deriving my my sharing from the book of First Chronicles chapter four, and I'll be reading very few verses from first or ten, nine to ten in Jesus' name. We are going to start with the word of prayer. Prepare your heart and be expectant, Father. In the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. I want to bless your holy name for who you are and what you mean in my life. God, as I share, use me as a vessel. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, dear Lord. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet, that I may minister under that anointing that breaks every yoke in the name of Jesus. And for my fear and my reason, I pray for him or her, that you shall meet them at the very point of their needs, O God, and to a language that they will understand in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. This is what the word of God says. Now, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain. I write that if you have your hard copy Bible. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. Verse 9 and 10, just two verses. Your personal sincere prayer can transform your life. It is okay when we have corporate prayers, but it is that personal sincere prayer that you make to God that transforms you. It is when we pray in our closet that makes a huge difference even when we are outside. Show me a man who was great and I will show you a man who was a, a great prayer person in the closet. It does not matter how powerful, how sincere, how emotional prayers we make in the public. What determines is that personal sincere prayer, even for spouses. It is okay to pray together, but there is that time that you need you and your God. And that's why David, a man after God's own heart, was able to overcome so many things. Because he was a person who sought God as an individual. Would you be that man, would you be that woman, that have that sincere seeking the face of God? Remember, God says in his word, in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, that call unto me. When you call, God will do something. What will he do? He will call unto me and I will answer you. He will not only answer you, but he will show you great and hidden things that you do not know. There are so many things that we do not know. But we can only know them when we open our hearts and our mind to God in sincerity. And so it is my prayer that I'll be able to inspire you through this, this word that have inspired me. In actual fact, there is a song that I've sung about it. And many people know me by that, Mehaka, that Jaramiria Mehaka, 
my brother and my sister, your territories, you only be a large based on that personal sincere prayer that you pray. The children, you children out there including mine, it is that personal sincere prayer you make to God that will transform you. Me as your mother, I will pray for you. It is that sincere personal prayer you make. Even the bosses as we pray for them, as people you know, I, I, I like to pray for people. Let me tell you, there is even the beauty when you intercede for people. One of the, I want to share a little bit how I get so much breath when I pray for people. And it has said, somebody give me a prayer request and I pray for them. And later on they say, oh, God answered my prayer. You know, I take that to be my miracle because I prayed for them. Only if I prayed sincerely, because you can always know. You know, not every person that you tell pray for me, even me, let me be very honest. It's not that every person that tells me to pray for them, that I remember to pray for them because I am a human being and I'm limited. But the good thing is, when I remember the saints and you are among the saints, you will tap that blessing. And that's why I like this song that we sing. Oh, when the saints, oh, when the saints go marching in, go marching. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, Lord, I want to be among the number. Oh, when the saints go marching in. As we stay a holy life as the Lord wants us according to his, this manual. Whenever the prayers are prayed for the saints, you are impacted by those prayers. Those prayers blesses you. When you pray for someone, even when you approach them, you get encouraged and you have the confidence if you pray for a place and you go there and there is danger, you get the confidence because you pray for it. When you seed, when you plant that seed of, of prayers, I tell you, you are the more, you are the first beneficiary. So, your personal, sincere prayer to God will transform your life, can transform your life. The personal, sincere prayer transformed men of old. Transforms men of the day and will transform men of the future. Because the Bible says that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the Lord that changes not. We may change, but God does not change. And the beauty of our God, when we make that sincere personal prayer, it does not matter how long it will take. There is no prayer that goes wasted. It is just like you file something, a document. And the prayer you pray could be, maybe it was filed at a letter Z or Z for that matter when people are here, that's what they call Z. And then another one prayed and their prayers as a file was filed at a letter B, which comes first, even if they prayed last, because it is up to the one who is filing, using the filing system of our prayers. No prayers go wasted. So know that your sincere personal prayer will transform you. It may take long, like I shared about the seed, but it will surely come. Now, wonder the Bible tells us in the book of Habakkuk that the vision, though the vision may tarry, it shall surely come at the appointed time. Let me tell you, my brother, my sister, at the sound of my voice. Your personal sincere prayer will transform your life. It does not matter what has happened. It does not matter how long it has taken. But let me tell you, because our God is faithful and he changes not, your prayer will come to pass. Listen to this. Jabez was given a, a name by the mother. It does not matter what name you've been given by your people. It does not matter how much you have been nicknamed. Joseph was nicknamed a dreamer. That did not change the plan of God. He dreamt and his dream came true. Maybe you have, God has given you a word. And you have gone, gone to counselors, even mentors, and they have, you know, they have told you this or that. But let me tell you, he who gave you that idea, he who gave you that dream, he who gave you that vision, as you make that personal sincere prayer, oh my goodness, it will transform your life. And guess what? Our God is a God who is able to restore and even accelerate the speed of your transformation. Though it may have taken long, the period that God will come because when he comes, it's not like when men came. I thank God for the woman of God 
Shiro AJP for the song I need that. Wakwa mwadhani doka anateire. Let me tell you, it is better when you make that personal sincere prayer. And because it is God who sees in the secret, it's God who sees when you are crying at midnight, that midnight hour. It will come and it's just like a pregnancy. No matter how much you want to hide that pregnancy, when the tummy starts to protrude, you can never deny it. People will be saying, wow, there is a blessing. Let me tell you, every time you make that personal, sincere prayer before God, you are kneeling down, you are in tears. There is a time that the joy that you will get when the answer is, when the prayer is answered, you will not be able to hide it. Even the public will know. It is God who came at the right time. The problem we have is lack of patience and we want to compare ourselves with other people. Let me tell you if your prayer was fired at a Z. It shall surely come. The fact that the one who, who prayed after you, his was he or his or hers was found at a B that will not prevent the protocol of God answering prayers. Yours is still coming. What do you need to do? Just be patient. Why worry when you can pray? Trust Jesus. He knows the way. Don't be a doubting Toma. Just lean upon his promise. Why worry, 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 worry? When you can pray, Makaraliki, and do a koya, it take ya just so, neo ejera, do kaneta toma, hoya wena we take yo, makawako makaraliki, and do a koya. Pray. The good thing of our God. Every person have a direct access to God. There's sometimes when I have sorrow, I'll just call one of my grandkids and say, yes, is everything okay? And say, oh, pray for me. Let me tell you. Whether they're experienced or not, they are making that sincere prayer on your behalf. God answers prayers. Your personal, sincere prayer will transform your life. Don't you, won't you make that personal, sincere, that even before you go and join others in corporate. Let me just give one testimony and I'll be done. A, a great woman of God came last, late, uh, late last year to Minnesota, Bishop Margaret Wagari, aka Wagari wa Banana. And uh, I remember I had to go to work and I went for this uh, revival meeting in one of our churches, the Destiny Hill Church. But thank you, man of God, Pastor P, for opening the doors for that uh, vessel of honor. I had already prayed even before she came, and I had a desire in my heart. And I went, and I sat somewhere. I sat towards the head. The way God does. You know, I'm standing there. I am praying. I'm worshiping. And I hear you, woman. You there. Uh, you guess what? Even the dress and the color I was putting on because God answers our sincere personal prayer. The fact that I had prayed personal, I did not disregard joining other brethren. Your personal sincere prayer is like when you put that ignition, that key in the ignition, you start it. Then you are going to where you are going. I still went to the congregation of believers and there, bam, God came. I did not pray when I was there. I was still praying, but I had started praying personally. My brother, my sister, there is something that God has been keeping for you. Don't always rely on corporate prayer. First of all, make that sincere personal prayer in your closet. Then join other brethren and you see what God will do. God answers prayer. May the Lord God bless you. Father, I thank you. I've given you a word. Should there be any word that I've added that you did not want your daughter and your son to hear, you have the ability, my father, and the potential to filter it. That they only get that which you wanted them to hear in Jesus' name. Father, our father in heaven hears. And that's why even now I want to remind you, your personal commitment to God, your personal surrender to God matters. So even as I wind up, I want to remind you. I want to challenge you. I want to inspire you. You make that personal commitment to follow the Lord. Maybe you say, my, you know, pastor, I go to church. 
I confess the Lord is my personal Lord and Savior. Make a recommit yourself to God to make that past to be making that personal sincere prayer to God. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I recommit my life to you. Lord God Almighty, I pray that you forgive me the sins of assumption. And now I come. Help me to start a journey of making that personal, sincere prayer to you for my transformation and the transformation of the people I, I relate with, oh God, and for everything that I go through. Even as you build my spiritual muscles to be patient and to have a, the spirit of discernment, I thank you, Lord. Father, write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life and then give me a desire to grow spiritually and to be near you in a personal way on a daily basis in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you pray that prayer by faith, I know there is transformation taking place and you're not going to be the same anymore. If you only used to rely on when you are in a corporate meeting, it is important that you know your personal sincere prayers matters a lot and will transform your life. May the Lord God bless you. As I wind up, I want to remind you of my weekly schedule. Monday through Wednesday, Inspirational Word. Thursdays, putting on the... No, no, celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. Fridays, putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I can take a break or bring you random inspirational messages. And as we are approaching the Easter, as we are in the Easter mode, may the Lord God help you to recommit your life to him and that you pray like that when the way best prayed. There, there is that song that I've sung. I hope I'll be able to remember to send the link there in Jesus' name. If I don't, you can always check it from YouTube. But Gai wa jabesu, maramia wa mehaka, jaramedia mehaka, hotego kogosa, jaramedia mehaka, hotego kogosa, jaramedia mehaka, hotego kogosa. And when God does that, uh, He will remove the pain from you and give you the joy of salvation, and you'll be able to celebrate every moment, not just celebrating because others celebrate, uh, celebrate it, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Because you know that every moment you are taking a breath, breathe in and breathe out matters, and every moment counts. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most in Jesus' name. Amen.